Hello collective. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. I just seen somebody being concerned about the distant horizons. What's to come here? Yeah. Let's see what's going on? What is the message for the collective? What do you need to know? What do you need to be aware of? Oh. Okay. <laughs> we got adjudication in the wealthy man, occupation in the main now. Hmm. So somebody could be under judgment right now. Whatever way, we got a main male occupation and a wealthy man. Somebody could be working with the wealthy man or this person it was working to be a wealthy man. They could be in poverty and having bad health. All right. That a mature woman is held in high honor. Could have worked really hard for this official person energy to be the official person. And somebody's in despair. Hmm. Because they could be needing a job or work or something on their journey. Maybe they're on this path here. Somebody could be going through the dark night of the soul or something like that for some of y'all. But somebody's under judgment right now. Two men, a wealthy man, and a main male. Okay. We got manifesting. Something somebody tried to. Ooh. It's over. Okay. So something could have came to an end with somebody's manifestations or what they were trying to manifest. Something could have ended. Okay. So somebody could have been trying to manifest new things here or something just is over. It ended before it started with somebody, y'all. What's going on? Okay. Wow. Yeah, because somebody could have been obsessed with doing erotic rituals out of jealousy. Y'all, I just never be... <laughs> When these cards come out, y'all, I don't be thinking that they want me. I be so shocked. Like, for real. Like, what? So, somebody was doing some rituals on y'all out of jealousy. They were obsessed with trying to harm you. They were jealous of your inherited magic energy, right? And how your ancestors or whatever always fulfill your wishes here. Because you're very thoughtful and polite and you're good mannered. You help people or something like that. Somebody hates that. And they can be spending their last day in the lights because of this obsession. Wow. Huh. Yeah. You got some sort of immortality and free will. You So you have eternal youth. Okay. Vitality. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like somebody got to let go here. Of your energy because now something is being like somebody is can't hold on to somebody's energy anymore or hold on to something because it's like a repellent energy now right something is happening here so somebody has done too much okay Mel or female take it as a resonation yeah you actually grew from a situation because you're starting to see things from a higher perspective all right and that's whatever your actual what kick-started your journey is just what I heard. Whatever kick-started your journey, okay, to self-awareness, to self-discovery, um, you're actually at the part where <laughs> they wanted you to be at, okay? And it's like, now you're seeing things from a higher perspective. Now you get to move forward because you get it now, okay? Kind of energy. You're not, you're no longer fighting the... I'm not the wave. It's not the wave because they showed me like a current. Like you're going with the flow energy. Okay. Yep. You're still saying so since you're seeing through the fog now. Okay, you're getting a lot of signs. Somebody also is seeing through the fog that you really do be getting a lot of signs from the universe. Okay, you really do. You are tapped in for real, for real. They. This is something they never believed in, but they are shook about that. Like what? Yeah, because they thought she was on some old research. Researching. Maybe they did research the occult things to find out what you was talking about or something like that. And they are like, wow. So they could have been looking up uh, uh, Egyptian history or who is Ra or what's Venus or something like that. Like somebody was really looking up something here about you. Okay, but that was after they did all these damn rituals, though. It wasn't, you know, before, of course. 
All right. Or before they had somebody do all these damn rituals. Somebody looked at you as like poison ivy ass energy or somebody that was toxic or like uh, Medusa energy. Because, you know, Medusa, she was heartbroken by all them people. And then they just, you know, they say, oh, she just snapped. And oh, oh, wow. You know, like the true story. All right. If you don't know the true story, you look it up. Okay. But it's it's a thing like somebody really deemed you to be some fucked up individual and they was trying to play off that narrative, whoever you are. And then there was something that happened here where it's like, oh, shit, they found out that, you know, who you was connected to, whatever, whatever, whatever was true. And they got jealous. All right. Or they was doing, yeah, because you actually went through a rebirth. Really? For real, for real. OK, somebody could be also shocked here. That things really changed in your life here. Thanks. So something came to a complete end here. Blocking communication here or blocking anyone access or blocking some sort of downloads or something like that here for you. Yeah. From this toxic family dynamic that was spreading rumors here. I feel like there's going to be a reason for you to celebrate because somebody realized that somebody was just lying about you or talking heavy crap about you out of their jealousy or something like that. All right. <sighs> let's see yeah i see right through you so now somebody is starting to see right through somebody whoever this jealous person is okay that was in y'all energy they see right through this motherfucker okay let's see here let's get some of these cards too let's see what's going on in this deck okay look they see right through somebody because they can't stop your flow period <laughs> and they crying about it okay they keep checking their cell phone and they every time they check their cell phone, they see your ass on here. They can't stop your flow and they cry about that shit. Like this is really when it's up, when it's it's up, like energy for somebody. And this is like really hurting whoever this jealous person is. Like, what the hell? It's really hurting this person. Look, and, and it, it came out in the reverse. We got culture differences. So this is gonna be somebody of your own damn culture, honey. Uh, so it's not like you guys had, uh, they had the opportunity to learn something new as well. Let's just say that here, but Papa was a rolling stone. Okay. Energy, whoever this person is, was a rolling stone ass person. Maybe they just didn't know how to settle down or get their life together. Okay. Go through reverse or something like that. Who knows? Okay. But they, uh, okay. But they felt like y'all should have did it together. So it's like they were trying to slow you down because maybe they was there could have been a culture difference or yeah, like maybe different belief systems, backgrounds, whatever. But it wasn't that deep that they couldn't take this leap of faith with you because you got on the right path. And this motherfucker was trying to do everything to stop you from getting on this path, slowing you down and everything else, working with people, whatever this is. Okay. Yeah, and everything blew up in smoke in their face and shit. Yeah, because this motherfucker was a rolling stone thinking they had some time and they did not. They had time to get their life together, party with me. Somebody could have been pill popping or drinking, hanging out, whatever. No, you were supposed to be healing, growing, and evolving just like your person, your counterpart. And I feel like they're just mad that you like... They ended something here because of how they felt about y'all belief systems. And then I feel like there was some sort of non-communication or they ghosted you or whatever because they felt like they should have did this with you or you left them behind in some sort of way. However, this is going okay for you, for you guys. So there could have been some sort of debacle. <laughs> okay. In this situation with this motherfucker. Whoever this is. Mm -hmm. This King of Pentacles staying in this damn or everywhere we look. So it's a strong ass earth sign in y'all energy. And this motherfucker is just in the energy. What do you want? Okay. That energy. <laughs> this person is just strong in this energy, y'all. They've been in y'all energy for weeks now. Okay. Or this is just a person becoming more mature. Okay. They don't got to be an earth sign. All right. This could be somebody that's actually growing into the King of Pentacles energy. All right. More loving, nurturing, kind. Yeah, it could even be a water sign. Right? Making more bleh, practical decisions for their life. Okay. 
Yeah. I just heard, I wish I would have seen what you was offering me before with the Page of Cups and the Lover's card. So they didn't see what you was offering them or something at the time. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. What's going on here? Okay, Page of Wine. So somebody getting the message that you got to get realistic here about having structure and discipline in life. And that's a good thing. Somebody's growing. All right. I'm coming in here. Whoa. Okay, because it's time for somebody to end their childish ways. Okay, they've been in that energy long enough. Page of Cups to this Knight of Pentacles energy. I feel like, yeah, this is a big um, tower moment here for somebody that something is changing. And they're trying to hurry up and catch up to the will. You see? Looks like this person trying to catch up to the will of fortune. This is the fastest night in the deck, the Knight of Swords, okay? But there's a tower here, okay? There could have been a tower here that there was some sort of ending or something came to an end. And they are like, what? Okay. It's a page. I mean, what else here? A lot of cards came out. What's the message, please? <clears throat> Okay, Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Five of Wands. There could be some sort of fight or conflict here that you have with somebody in the past. You wouldn't believe maybe somebody was still holding on to something. Maybe they were trying to cause blockages or something like that. It could be a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Six of Swords there. I feel like they knowing that you're going to be moving forward or they got the message. This is a message for you that you're moving forward to mark out my orders. What's their obstacle? Or somebody want to come towards you to tell you something or talk to you? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, that's the truth. Somebody want to come towards you and talk to you about something. It could be a Virgo, Taurus. Okay. They got some sort of clarity here after all this time about something. What's the outcome? That y'all not so different after all energy. What's the outcome? The full card. The moon. Pisces. Aries. So... like somebody going to be taking a leap of faith here did something at night they regret out of jealousy but but yeah they were shocked maybe something backfired on them now whatever they did okay it's a page of lines okay three of cups knight of cups Somebody could have heard you went out on a date with somebody or you're dating. And this King of Wands could have been working hard with the King of Swords or something like that when they found that out to cause some sort of heavy burden here. Or some sort of struggle or something like that. But somebody got the message that you could be dating or working, you know, celebrating with somebody here. Okay. You could be went out drinking with your friends or something like that. 
But there's some sort of proposal to work together here. And that's when somebody made a proposal maybe to work together with someone to cause somebody a burden here. All right. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, temperance. But the universe is balancing something out for you here. And I feel like someone feels powerless here because in the future, yeah, you already know. They know something is over. King of Swords to the death card. What's the Three of Wands in the reverse here? I feel like because you're not waiting for something. Three of Wands in the reverse. Like he was maybe in the past. So you could have been waiting for something in the past. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Hangman. In the past. So something could be getting balanced out for you. Maybe you were stuck here waiting for something in the past. So you seen something. Wow, yeah. Somebody could be heartbroken here. That you took you took some sort of action towards the King of Pentacles to partner up. I feel like somebody would have is wishing they would have, you know, could hold on to you or hold you back. But there could be uh either somebody that's very mature coming into you guys. Like I said, the King of Pentacles is lingering in y'all energy. There's somebody that's coming towards you that's very mature uh and ready for some sort of long-term commitment. That's why somebody's like, Yeah, they can't stop your flow. All right, no matter what they try to do, okay. What's this Knight of Pentacles here for y'all? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Somebody is, maybe you walk, maybe somebody's trying to slow you down from walking away. Somebody's scared now. Yeah, that you're about to receive something here. Six of Pentacles here. What's the Six of Pentacles? Or you're going to, yeah, I feel like somebody also, for a long time, maybe somebody's getting realistic. They walking away from call, paying somebody something or giving somebody some money from the past or whatever this is. What's the Six of Pentacles? Two of Swords, yeah. So I feel like the stalemate is over. You can move forward. Because the cycle ended with a King of Cups, okay? Being deceptive or something like that to somebody. Or somebody using the intuition that somebody's being deceptive. So they're going to take a leap of faith here. At night. Somebody could be taking a leap of faith at night. That's the full part. Four of Cups. Somebody calls the illusion that somebody, you took a leap of faith and they missed the opportunity for it. Cuts. Oop. King of Wands. And he says, yeah, now that's what this King of Wands is saying. The truth. All right. I feel like you setting out on a new journey. I feel like somebody is seeing. They could have told this person you set out on a new journey. And you missed the opportunity here. But the truth is maybe this King of Wands here is feeling left out in the cold here. Because they didn't, they didn't make a proper decision or something about whatever this is. Out of fear of something coming to an end. Or somebody's fears is coming to an end. What's this King of Wands? It's a lot of cards, child. What's the King of Wands doing here? Oop, King of Wands. What's he doing here? Okay. King of Wands. It's the Seven of Cups. Could be confused here or had hey, wishful thinking that this they've been working together with this Queen of Cups or collaborative collaborating with this Queen of Cups because they're in the nine of swords here. That you know something, somebody could be scared about your intuition, or you knowing that somebody tried to betray you here. Because the truth is something could have backfired because you protected your home or your stability. Empress, and they feel like they're going to be left out in the cold from receiving some sort of money because they did something too quick here. And this emperor here could have lied to the police or lied to somebody here that they were single or lied to somebody, child. Full moon could have been significant here. Because now the king of watch trying to figure out what, they got, what can they do now. So somebody found out the truth that they missed the opportunity to take some sort of leap of faith or something like that to somebody. Yeah, they can't believe they messed this up. Yeah, take your time. Don't rush. Look, and it fell right on the hangman in the reverse. So they shouldn't have took their time and they should have, you know, did something here about something. Yeah, we got new love, though. It's coming. The sounds is too much. I'm about to text you Thursday. Yeah, Zaddy home. Let them know in the reverse. Ooh, 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Everybody knew this person was pressed about you a year ago. Somebody could have found out somebody was on a DL Friday. Or they was trying to keep that on the low on Friday, but they could have, uh, they know they messed up because the karmic was in the way. They tried to visit somebody in your dreams, IJ fan of. Now they know why something happened. So somebody finding out about these damn rituals somebody was doing and because they was jealous of what somebody had going on. All right, in life. And they're going through karma now, okay? Yeah, you made the right choice here. And we got bro. I'm all in my head and my feelings. So they get to talking to their bro or their friend or whatever about this, a cancer. We got T and B. First thing is the middle initial, yours and theirs. Oh, I got sexually transmitted demons. Okay. Balance is being restored in every area of your life. Somebody mom didn't like you because they lied to them about you. Or somebody lied about something. A karmic male. I got to make it up to you this lifetime. 48 hours. Capricorn. He mad. So is a Capricorn mad or somebody's mad at a Capricorn? Yeah, I'm salty as fuck. Aries. Destiny, all blockages are removed because something was destined for y'all to be together or be with somebody and all blockages are removed, okay? He big man, okay? Yeah, because some chick with an STI did a love spell on him, okay? A Taurus, all evil eyes is, um, I'm sorry. Those hexes is, and curses is backfiring on them. They want to be you, they envied you. You was the one they about to lose you for good. Mm. You are protected, collector. Somebody wants you to unblock them. <clears throat> we got I. She was trying to set him up. You're on the path to light, though, collector. Keep going. Somebody is not of the light. They ride past your house in the daytime or at night because my game's backfired. Somebody tried to put poison in your food or drink. Okay. They see you going through a body transformation, getting fit. So that's why they couldn't copy your energy because something changed in your body structure or something. Yeah, the energy vampire. So somebody could have been siphoning your energy or trying to, but when you went through a body transformation or you start getting fit, your energy changed so they couldn't copy your energy or um, do weird shit in your energy no more because you have something changed. Yeah. We got a Pisces soul contract. Yeah, we got a karmic male. Q, R, S, and T wanted power over you. Somebody want to pull up on you. They selfish about you and they can't help it. Somebody only wanted money as Scorpio. They are sorry as fuck because somebody knows something is not your fault now. Whatever somebody thought was your fault, they're realizing it. So maybe that was the motivation behind something here. But they realized somebody could have just been envious or jealous of you of some sort, yo. Okay. Hmm, I hope this helped you.